you love tribe welcome welcome to sarita's intuitive love guidance i'm going to be doing the daily divine masculine see what is going on with our masculines today let's see what their energies are so there's some energy of excuses i'm sorry amends i do feel this masculine is wanting to come back to make amends with you they are apologetic it may feel like excuses because it's, it's kind of like this never ending i'm sorry energy but with no actions so there's going to be some communication coming your way divine femmes what else is going on with the masculines mindset scarcity abundance this masculine definitely is kind of feeling hopeless because is this a dandelion? I believe it's a dandelion. I always get them mixed up. <laughs> the dandelion or the... I think it is a dandelion. Anyways, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, there is a scarcity mindset. This masculine definitely is feeling like they are losing you. They're giving, they are They can kind of feel like they're giving up on hope. Because it's, this is like a cycle. A never ending emotional cycle. Uh, situation what else is going on with the masculines and there are some choices this masculine has to make and it's causing this masculine to have anxiety I feel there is a broken heart energy here they know they are breaking your heart they're in a situation that they know they need to heal themselves as well and they're unsure of you know which way to go It's just like this uncertainty of energy. Let's see what else is going on with the masculines on how they are feeling. Let's push this up. Towards the divine femmes. What's the major energies of how the masculines feeling towards the divine femmes? Over romanticize. Sometimes our idea of love is far from reality. And as a result, we end up over romanticizing relationships. Take the time to reevaluate your views. I'm getting that this masculine views are kind of skewed of from love because maybe their childhood they didn't have the perfect role model or family or mom or dad in their life or wasn't loved enough. So they can over romanticize a relationship and <clears throat> it's a little far off from reality. It could also feel like they think you are wanting too much when it's not. You're just, <laughs> it's just the bare minimal that you're wanting from them and it's too hard for them. <clears throat> because we got the climax that there's anxiety and worries about your bond with your twin. You may be in separation, but if you get through it, you'll emerge stronger than ever. <clears throat> Maybe a hard situation you're going through right now. Anxiety, you and Masson could be mirroring the same anxiety because you're kind of in this situation of uncertainty. Which way do I go? Do I let him go? Do I stay? Uh, do I wait? Do I continue to just live my life? And it's a, a mirrored energy that both of you and the masculine are going through at the moment. What else is going on with the masculines? Losing identity. <clears throat> you feel like you are slowly losing yourself in the process of loving them and forgetting that you are also deserving of love. I do feel this masculine's in a karmic situation. <clears throat> Even though there, this is a karmic connection, it is meant to help you grow and heal so that you may find your true soulmate or twin flame. And this masculine is losing their identity because they're staying stuck and stagnant in a karmic situation or just their karmic patterns and cycles that they're losing themselves. They're, they're far from their own reality. They're far from their alignment in life and purpose. And they feel like they're kind of just dwindling. And this is why the anxiety is here because they're just not at peace with a situation. <clears throat> and so they really have to heal a situation with a karmic that it's supposed to help 
you grow and heal. But I feel this masculine is in a, a lack mentality and is making excuses for their own situation. <clears throat> what in the world? <clears throat> Excuse me. I swear, like, I don't get like this until I do this reading because all day I'm fine. And then as soon as I do the divine masculines, it's like their throat chakra is always blocked. <clears throat> And it, it's, they want to make amends. They want to come back to you. They want to make it work. They just don't know how. They're not wise enough because their mindset is just kind of like peanut brain. <laughs> like, wake up. <clears throat> what else is going on with the Divine Masculines? Temptation. So there's a lot of temptation here, Divine Femmes. They feel like they are tempted to reach out tempted to be with you maybe there's some sexual temptation that when y'all go out together they just can't stop thinking about you or looking at you extrovert i feel like they want to come out and express some tempting energy to have how they feel about you <clears throat> and it's kind of be very look I, it's gonna be very unexpected they may pop up you may um do something with the masculine unexpectedly that you may not expect that it was gonna go down like that <clears throat> you're gonna be cuddling all of a sudden you're gonna be tempted because i feel like y'all are both mirroring this intimacy tempted energy y'all are both admiring each other i do feel this masculine is admiring you and it, they just can't stop thinking about you and even though their situation is not ideal it, they can't help themselves with you spirit tell me more about this temptation energy tell me more about this temptation energy that this masculine is feeling towards divine femmes ten of pentacles wow they are wanting some stability they are wanting this family life with you. They're wanting this permanent energy. Some of these masculines are tempted because they want to have a baby. They may want to have a baby with you. And they may say, hey, I want you to have my child. It's very tempting to them to want to start a family. I feel like with this high priestess energy, this is a secret keeper. And <clears throat> very intuitive. And you know this. You know that this masculine want something more stable with you they see you in this family life energy and it's very tempting because it's it's really hard to resist you what is this unexpected energy well seven of pentacles you're going to un this is going to be a very unexpected because this muslin has been reflecting on this they are wanting to invest in you still I feel like they have evaluated a situation with you and they see this energy as the sun. They are wanting to come towards you. This is happiness. This is healing. There is a boy here. It could be very immature energy still or a new beginning. What's this intimacy energy? Wow. Seven of cups with the lover's energy. I do feel this masculine is wanting to come towards you, wanting to be intimate. But with the Seven of Cups is a very confusing energy. And it's going to be very confusing. I feel this masculine is so in an energy of still dealing with a situation. And so them coming towards you, wanting to be intimate, wanting to be flirty, wanting to be loving, is going to confuse you because... Although this masculine could be the magician energy and have whatever they want, but there there's a lot of options, there's a lot of choices, and they are uncertain with this choices energy what to do. Even though they know they feel this way, even though they want to invest, it's just they have to really do some healing on themselves. Let's see what else is going on with the masculines. <laughs> trash a low class person not worth trying nonsense poor quality worthless and useless and this is the thing this masculine feels like they're stuck in a situation they feel tangled up 
And this could be an entanglement. And this masculine doesn't know their worth. They feel worthless. They feel like trash. And as much as you can encourage them and gas them up and support them, if they don't see themselves as worthy for you, even if you're trying to gas them up, it's still that scarcity mindset that they, this masculine has. They, they don't know how to um, see their worth and they really need to work on their self-love. And I feel like they need to kind of lose themselves and hit rock bottom in order to make changes. As much as you want to gas this masculine up and encourage them and show them who you are, if they continue to make excuses, if they're in this lack mentality and still need healing, it's going to be hard to force this love situation. And we shouldn't be forcing love. I feel like we shouldn't um, try to get this person to see who we are you know like know your worth and know your value uh, you can't force someone to see your worth because you know what you are on fully okay so don't think just because they're not coming towards you or they're not wanting to commit does not mean uh you are anything less it's not a reflection of who you are what else is going on with this masculine Receipts and influencer. So I'm getting this is you've been wanting receipts. You've been needing answers from this masculine. You're not believing what this masculine is telling you. You could be hounding the masculine for proof, for evidence. Because there could be someone influencing this situation. Maybe friends, someone is, you know, maybe you saw something on social media. I do feel you are in this energy of, looking around trying to find evidence because something has influenced you to snoop something has caused your spidey senses to be tingling to go off and so you could have been pushing for answers and this is why this masculine is making excuses and could be running from this connection because they don't want to face the truth they don't want to answer to you yet because I feel like this masculine has been filtering. They've been sugarcoating the truth. They don't want to admit a situation. Because they, out of fear that you will no longer want to be with them, out of fear of judgment, it's really hard for them to admit certain things to you because it's shameful. They feel guilty about it. And so they just want to um, deny, deny, deny. And you've been kind of pushing for answers. You want proof. And some of you show proof to the masculine and they're still denying. They are still denying it. But deep down, they feel this like worthless energy. And they could be in this energy of not worth trying. Like, I'm not going to try. She doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe me. What else is going on with the masculines? Shake my head. Yep. And you put this masculine on blast. And... They're disappointed. They know it was a stupid move. And so they go in hiding. And they'll come back around once they feel like the dust has settled. And you're not as angry. And you called them out. You called them out. And they know that. Look at that. You put them on blast. <clears throat> Some of these masks got exposed from a karmic situation. And now they're kind of in regret like... What in the world happened? And I feel like justice was served. And I feel like some of these masks, you found out they were married. And you got the receipts because you went looking for it and found it. And this mask has been exposed. And so this mask could be drinking a lot. I feel like um, they are trying to distract themselves because... Um, they are lonely, they're emotional, they are regretful, and as they won't, may have not admit to you, it's a way to just kind of suppress the truth. Like, I'm just going to drink my sorrows away. Come on, masculines, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Do 
Jeez, just do right. I'm telling you, like, just do right. Do the right thing. I feel like integrity is so important. Just do the right thing. Let's see what the masculine's message is to you, Divine Femmes. What does the ma Divine Masculine want to say to Divine Femmes, Spirit? What do they want to say to Divine Femmes? I still need you. I am learning to let go of the need to be right. My ego always gets in the way of our connection. That's the thing. They want to be right, so they're not going to tell you the truth because then that means that they were in the wrong. And they don't have, they lack the humility to, t you know, to say I'm sorry or to admit the truth. What else is going on with our masculines? What do they want to say to divine femmes? I allowed outside parties to interfere with our connection. I permitted key differences to cause our separation. I let you go when you were willing to fight to hang on. And you were trying. I do feel like you gave it your all. And, you know, they allowed outside parties. They allowed their own ego, their own pride. They allowed fear, doubt, worry to get close to you because it was scary. And so they ran. And, and that was the key differences that caused the separation, that caused y'all to not be in union. I am blessed to have experienced love through you. And you have really shown them that, you know, rainbow at the end of a, you know, a, a storm. You really showed them that. And they see it, whether they want to admit that or not. Because look, you understanding and, and wisdom, your understanding and wisdom inspires me. I have so much I want to say to you. I've been trying to get your attention in the 5D. So you may be getting dreams about them. You may be feeling this on a, a, a 5D dimension energy. That, you know, their soul level sees how much of a blessing you are. But in the 3D, they have a hard time getting past their own ego. Let's see, what else is going on with the masculines? Oof. Connection. The palpable, the palpable, the palpable pull and spark between energies guiding you to completion. So there's some completions coming to an end. I do feel this masculine has that unconditional love, wants forgiveness. There's a celebration here that this masculine is wanting. You know, there's a 10 with an ending and a 1 with a new beginning coming through. What else is going on with the masculines on how they're feeling? Irresponsible, unreliable, reckless, and careless. And they know they have been irresponsible. Um, they have been very immature emotionally. They lack the balance. And so I do feel that there's a balance of inner harmony that they're trying to get so they can have that on the outside as well. They're trying to figure things out. I feel like they're in this a space of really evaluating. Um, evaluating something. More energy of the masculines. Meditation. The answer lies within. And that's the thing. They have to get out of that pride. That self-centeredness, ego-driven energy. And once they can get that balance go in meditation and really realign themselves and get past this facade or whatever they're trying to paint and just be real and authentic. You know, I feel like they will be, the answers are there within them. They will know, they will come out and show you this, but it's going to take them to put that work in. They're going to need to do that. What else is going on with the mask ones? Something may have happened into the winter season, you know, the winter months for you. I feel like there was some kind of cords energy that maybe you and the mask is connected in the winter or cut cords in the winter. But I do feel like this mask still feels very connected to you. You're still that part of them that is very familiar. 
they do have their spirit family with them the team there with them trying to help this masculine cut cords with a karmic situation with something that's no longer serving them they're there guiding this masculine wow and see the the spirit family has been here trying to help this masculine to release and this masculine may not even notice it they are not they're they may be missing the signs you know of angel feathers and angel numbers coins pennies dimes you know spirit talks to us through music you know our intuition the light bulb the aha moment seeing uh, you know um spirit animals spirit is talking to us all the time it's just we really need to get in that meditation energy so we can receive the messages that our angel team and spirit team is sending us so do know this masculine is being guided divine guidance is here for them it's just they really have to do the work themselves and you, you shouldn't try to force this masculine to see who you are because it does nothing when you you know force them i hate when people like force marriage or engagement because they want to be married so bad and then that person kind of feels guilty and kind of shamed into proposing when that person wasn't really ready that man wasn't ready to propose it's just you just kind of guilt trip them and it wasn't really authentic it wasn't their true intentions yes they would want to marry you but maybe not right as way maybe they're not ready for it but they kind of could feel the pressure from you so back off off that pressure of trying to show them who you are trying to make it work allow it to be organic allow this masculine to figure it out on their own so what advice do you have for the divine femmes change change is about to take place in your life jump on it someone's going to be traveling someone's going to be moving whatever it is embrace the change don't allow the situation to keep you stuck and stagnant um because the light is here the sun is rising and the dark is behind you trust your intuition okay guys all right much love